Hi fellow reefers, this is Eddie of Eddie's Reef Aquarium. Today's video is a little different than the other videos that I usually shoot. This video, I'm going to go over the corals that I'm planning to uh, either frag or completely transfer from this nano to the uh, Nuvo 40 to the side of me on my dining room. Now before I do this and I show you uh, the actual corals, I thought I'd mention some basic stuff. Uh, no matter, no matter if, you know, I'm going to get corals from here, either frag them or completely uh, transfer corals to the other tank, you should treat this like if it was a separate entity, if it was like a, a pet shop. Why? Because no matter, uh, the rule of, of thought in this hobby is that no matter, if, if I was to set up another identical tank like this one, identical rocks, salinity, the same um, salt mix and all that, you are going to have different uh, parameters. It's a, a known fact. No um, clones of tanks exist where the parameters and everything is exactly the same temperature and so on and on. So knowing that, and you know, you might have like uh, little critters, uh, like Aptasia or other things that I don't see, but during the night they might come out. What I'm trying to stress is that when you do that, whatever frag I get, uh, I, I cut from here, or whatever coral I'm going to transfer, I should actually dip it, uh, make, make sure that there's no uh, uh, pests in them, and acclimate them to the, to the new tank. Like if, again, like I said, like if this was actually the pet shop that you just purchase corals and you're going to put them on your home of crane. So without further delay, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pan, uh, do a little video on, the, on the, this tank and what I'm planning to transfer or either to frag. So here we go. Okay, and here we are at the tank, uh, going from right towards left. When it comes to the Hollywood Stunner, that definitely I'm going to transfer it to the 40. The A-can, uh, I'm not going to touch. Now, when it comes to the Duncan Coral on the back, uh, I am going to frag. Uh, right now, I have about 12 heads. I'll go ahead and, and frag it. And uh, that portion, of course, I'll transfer it to the Nuvo 40. The Lobophilia, uh, I haven't made uh, my mind up. But if you notice on the Lobophilia, you have two heads. Actually, it used to be one head. I might either frag it and uh, separate it, and then I would keep one head here and transfer the other one to the Nuvo. Painting up, the leather coral, well, that's uh, going to stay here. Now, when it comes to the neon uh, candy cane, those I'm definitely going to go ahead and frag it, and I'm going to put, of course, that uh, portion on the Nuvo 40. Back there, the neon uh, burst nest, the same thing. I'm going to go ahead and I'm, I'm going to frag a piece of it. And that one, I'm going to transfer it to the 40. And then up here, as you might have seen on my previous video, the red uh, Monte Cap, which I fragged a little piece, but it kept falling off. So I went ahead and I glued it temporarily there on, on the back wall of the tank. That's also going uh, to uh, the Nubo 40. And then panning to the right side. Uh, this bird nest, um, I'm going to keep it here. And then panning to the left. The uh, frog span were up to eight heads. That one, um, uh, I, I've decided to uh, keep it here. The, the leather coral that you see back here, also I'm going to leave it here. When it comes to the mushrooms, I haven't decided yet uh, if I'm going to frag uh, some of these blue or the red uh, redactus, 
I might take one of these and put them over there or not. Those still are on standby. I uh, don't know. So, folks, that's basically it. That's what I wanted to show you on this short video. I hope you liked it. If you did, just hit the thumbs up or you're welcome to subscribe to my channel. And like I say at the end of all of my videos, happy reefing. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.